This hybrid battery repair guide video is for both the 2011 through 2015 Hyundai Sonata, as well as the Kia Optima of similar dates. You can also use this video guide to replace single modules with refurbished Batmech modules available on our website at batmech.com. This video is intended for highly trained individuals who understand the risks of working with high voltage. Risk includes loss of property or life. Repair at your own risk. To streamline this series, this video begins after the removal of your battery from the vehicle. Here's a look at our suggested personal protective equipment, or PPE. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. We recommend using high voltage gloves to protect you and then putting leather gloves over the high voltage gloves to protect the gloves. There are times during the disassembly where there is more risk of exposure to high voltage. So please be careful and wear your gloves when in doubt of your safety. We recommend placing the battery case on a non-conductive work surface. Let's get started. Start by removing the nuts that hold the fan on, then go ahead and remove the fan from the case. Next, remove the screws that hold this metal panel on. Then go ahead and remove the metal panel. Once the metal panel is removed, proceed by removing the nuts and screws that hold the metal component cover in place. After the hardware is removed, you can remove the metal component's cover. Next, you'll remove the nuts and screws that hold the main metal cover to the battery pack here on the top side of the battery. Once the hardware is removed, you'll proceed by removing the main top metal cover. Now that the battery pack is exposed, pop open the orange terminal covers. Once the terminals are exposed, you can then remove the nuts that hold the orange wiring harness to the battery terminals. Now that the nuts are removed, you can remove the orange wiring harness. Next, proceed to the other side of the battery pack and clip off the white plastic zip ties. Keep in mind, you will secure these orange wires during the reassembly with new zip ties. It's also important that you do not cut into the orange wires, as this will result in a large spark. Once the zip ties are clipped, continue by unfastening the white plugs as shown here. Now, move to the top of the battery and clip the zip tie that you see here. Again, be sure you have a few small zip ties on hand for the reassembly part of this battery pack. Next, go ahead and remove the black plastic clips that hold the temperature sensor wires to the top of the battery modules. Then, proceed by removing the two black plastic covers. After all of that is complete, find the clips that are holding the orange wires to this side of the modules. Once you've located these clips, you will unclip these orange wires from the side of the modules. Now, it's time to detach the modules from the case. You'll do this by removing the screws that hold the modules to the bottom of the case on this side. Next, proceed to the other side of the battery pack and remove the screws that hold the modules to the case on that side as well. You'll now remove the screws, as shown here, to release the modules from the case. Now that the Hyundai modules are free, you can remove them from the case. 
Now that the battery is completely disassembled, you can prepare to reassemble the battery. Carefully unpack your Batmec boxes. Your Batmec refurbished batteries are individually tested for capacity and voltage by highly trained technicians here at our shop using state-of-the-art testing methods. Your modules will arrive balanced for optimal performance. Now it's time to reassemble this Hyundai Kia battery pack. Let's get restarted. First, you'll put all the Batmac refurbished Hyundai modules into the battery case as shown here. Next, you'll go ahead and attach the modules to the bottom metal case. Be careful not to over tighten the screws here. Repeat this step on the other side of the battery. Next, you'll attach the sleeve, which can also be referred to as a compression block. Now that the modules are compressed, you'll reattach the two black plastic covers. Then, you can go ahead and reattach the temperature sensor wires. Next, you'll secure the wires to the bar with a zip tie as shown here. The rest of the reassembly of the battery pack will re-energize the battery. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. Before attaching the wire harness, be sure your torque settings on your torque wrench are set to about 55 inch pounds. If you don't follow these torque settings, you are likely to damage the terminals on the modules and will void your warranty. Never use max drill settings and never use an impact wrench. Note, before we continue on to the next step, be sure these four wire eyelets are positioned in the correct locations as shown here before attaching the nuts. Also, be sure that you have clipped the wire harness back in and onto the battery modules as shown here. After you've secured the wires to the bar with a zip tie, move to the other side of the battery pack and attach the wiring harness to the modules using the nuts. Again, when attaching the orange wiring harness, it will re-energize the battery. Be sure to have on the proper PPE. Once all of the nuts are on tight, go ahead and close all the wiring harness covers. Next, proceed to the other side of the battery pack and plug back in all the white wiring harness plugs into the modules. Once the plugs are properly inserted, use a few zip ties to hold the wires in place. Then, once the zip ties are fastened, clip the excess zip tie off. Be sure not to cut the orange wire harness, as this will create a huge spark. Now's a good time to take a photograph of each side of the battery. These photographs can be used for review of assembly if you experience issues. This may save you from having to uninstall the entire battery later. Now that the work inside the case is finished, you'll put the metal case back on using the nuts and screws. Be sure to reattach all three of the metal case covers. Finally, you'll finish by reattaching the fan to the battery case. Your Hyundai Kia battery is ready to be reinstalled into your vehicle. Here are a few pro tips. Be sure the service plug is secured properly, otherwise you'll get error codes. You'll also want to clean your cabin filter every three months. Be sure to clean your cooling fan. Dirty cooling fans can cause the battery to overheat. This concludes our how to demonstration. Remember as a highly skilled mechanic with high voltage training to wear the appropriate personal protection equipment your shop requires. Stay safe and thank you for shopping on batmech.com.